on. Clear takeoff. Let's make it happen, boys. Vance on Ellis Tower, you're cleared for takeoff. It has long been known that if fighter pilots could survive their first 10 combat missions, their chances of surviving throughout their careers improves dramatically. Red flag was created to provide those first 10 missions, and they make it as real as humanly possible. What is about to happen is considered by pilots to be more challenging and dangerous than war itself. Sold one as frag. Controllo operativo e radio, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ok, Igor, on va faire la vérification de la radio. 1, 2, 3. A ghostly B-2 heavy bomber floats toward the battlefield. Their job is to destroy the ground-based missile launchers before the enemy is even aware of the coming battle. A pair of stealth F-117s follow close behind. B-1s have arrived from an undisclosed distant location to provide additional bomber support if necessary. A U-2 begins its long climb to the edge of space, sending intelligence to the AWACS surveillance aircraft. On board the AWACS is Air Boss Major Rob Novotny. He will monitor the air war about to take place. AWACS crews use inputs from space systems and radar to understand the battle situation. Each aircraft broadcasts real-time telemetry that appears as three-dimensional imagery on board the AWACS. In this war, most of the aircraft are good guys, known as the Blue Force. The bad guys are the Red Force, or the aggressors. The bad guys fly 12 highly maneuverable F-16s. They are among the finest pilots in the United States Air Force. One is ready. Tractor is the Red Force's mission commander. For most of the pilots, Red Flag is their first taste of an air battle on a massive scale. There is no other way to prepare air crews for the real thing in all its precision, complexity, and finally, chaos. Yes, sir. Great, and Viper's checked in as well, correct? Yeah. Talk to me about the strike package here. What are you showing? We've got the Viper Flight of Two established in the north. Right. Eagle Flight established in the south. The green guys right there, are those the Canadians? Uh, and we got Canadians or the orange guys. I thought, the, up to I thought the, north. the British were the orange guys and the green guys were the Canadians. Is that we had checked? Negative. Yeah, British are green, Canadians are orange. Okay, you're so. Five miles out, both sides begin firing heat seeking missiles. Sniper flying. Deploy the tactical formation. Let's give them all they can handle. Flares are used to distract the inbound missiles from enemy aircraft. Chocolate flight, men. Group bullseye 3302. Hands on Chocolate copy. As planes are hit and declared killed, they turn white on the Naxos screen. The good guys then must disengage and return to base. The aggressors get to regenerate and return to the fight. 
Once the battle begins, the air boss and his team struggle to keep 128 aircraft from six countries from smashing into each other. You see here, Viper flies northbound at 6,000. You need to get on the phone right now. Get Viper and Chaco moving. They're going to hit. Two miles in closing, using simulated machine guns, a classic dogfight ensues. Chaco Manta, threat 360, 12, 10,000. is not a contest or a competition. There are no winners or losers. It is about training and saving lives. I was killed on my first mission at Red Flag. I was mad and I had a long, lonely flight back to base to think about it. The commanders walk a very fine line. In order to save lives in real combat, they are forced to take very real risks in training. They are pushing the limits in a controlled environment. However, what I want to do is not talk about the ingress routes. I, I want to talk about instead a near mid-air collision that we had up here in the EC West area. Chaco One Flight, you briefed us. Er